Hi, this is Pedia Berserk Arcade at berserkarcade.com, and this is part three of our 243 series. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. And this scene we're going to be working on, at least we're, the one we're going to start on, is our character generation scene. So make sure that you're actually in that one. And this time I'm actually just going to come and drag the script itself onto our main camera. And there's a few things we're going to have to do in this scene, but let's get this part set up first. Uh, so I want to find the script character generator there we go and I'll just go ahead and drag that right onto the uh, the script here and you'll notice here that it has two parameters that you can play around with let me just shrink this down a bit uh, it's looking for a skin which you can tell right here a GUI skin and the delay timer well the skin is the actual skin that you want to use in your game that you have to make and uh, the delay timer is the delay uh, used while clicking uh, the button since the buttons are repeat buttons and I don't think it's actually going to run right now. We'll probably get some errors here, but let's just try it. Uh, yes, we are getting some errors. So let's go ahead and actually start filling out some of the stuff that we actually need to get this scene working. Uh, and we'll try it out again. So first I'm going to start off with the skin. Now the skin that I am using is the Necromancer skin right now, simply because it's a good looking skin and it's free and available on the Asset Store. So let me go ahead and actually open up the Asset Store. I'll move this up here and we'll go ahead and find it. And I can't remember if it's called Necromancers or Necromancer. Um, here we go. It's right here. So I'm just going to import this right into my package. Uh, it appears that I've actually already downloaded it. Uh, before I do that though, uh, we'll just go ahead and import this version. I was, should have checked to see if uh, there was an update, but. Anyway, I'm just going to make sure everything's there. That's fine. So I'm going to import. I'm actually going to close the asset store down. And here it is right here, the Necromancer's GUI. Now, I use my resources uh, folder quite a bit in this project. And I've got a special hierarchy set up for this. So I'm going to go ahead and create that folder now. And I'm going to call that resources. And under that, I'm going to create another folder. I'm going to call it GUI, all capitals. And then under that, um, I'm going to create another folder. And I'm going to call this skins. And this is where I'm actually going to put my Necromancer skin. And if I have more than one skin, I can put more in here. And uh, later I'll be making more folders for uh, graphics and stuff like that that aren't part of skins. And well, we'll be filling this out quite a bit. I'm actually going to go, well, no, I'll just leave it like that, the way it is. There we go. I generally like to put underscores in front of uh, the folders that are holding my assets. Uh, you can, you, it doesn't really matter. Uh, stuff like resources, you can't, because you need it to be uh, named exactly like this. And another one's plugins, which I don't believe we're actually using right just yet. But anyway, let's go back to our My Skin. And let's open this up. And we'll take the Necromancer skin. And you'll have this right here. You just drag it and drop it on. Now, the way I have everything adjusted in this uh, scene for the display is based off of the Necromancer GUI right now. So if you want to use your own, you actually are going to have to go into the, the script itself and adjust some of the, um, the settings or the spacings. Uh, that's completely up to you the way you want to do it. Let me just shrink that down. And it's still not going to work because next we have to start working on um, creating our player singleton. And that's going to take a little bit longer to do. So uh, we'll leave this one here for now. Uh, we'll go make our player singleton and then we'll come back to this and incorporate it into this. Uh, and after that it should actually run just fine. As you can see here you can see the basic outline for the GUI skin. Uh, but we are getting some errors because it's trying to create a prefab for our character that we have not created. And we'll do that in the next tutorial. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.